Welcome back to the URM Academy YouTube channel where we help you kick ass at mixing. I'm Joel Wanasek, and if you're new here, smash that subscribe button and smash the bell button to get notified whenever we upload some new awesome videos. Come on guys, no small time, let's do it. All right, so today's video is all about master bus compression and how to get your mix to breathe properly. This is just one small clip from an entire six hour live streaming mix session with Andrew Wade mixing neck deep, which is available now. If you want to mix like the greats, you'll want to learn exactly the kind of stuff Andrew is talking about in this clip, so pay close attention. If you've ever been confused about mix bus compression or what to send or not to send to a mastering engineer, watch and learn as Andrew sets the story straight. All right, now the final icing on this cake for me is to make the whole thing breathe is uh, I like to just add a little little bit of compression on the on the master um, so let me show you what we have now you mean on the master bus on the master yeah the master bus so like the so to just clarify chain. you're you don't do a fake master when you're actually mixing maybe just for client reference no I will never mix if I if I mix into a limiter I notice that I start doing weird stuff and then I take it off and I'm like, what have I done? And everything is crazy. Uh, and then I'm just like, I can never do this again. And I, I kept, I like, I feel like I keep falling into that trap just every once in a while because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll feel like I'm done. And so I'll, then I'll master it. And then I'll be like, uh, I think I can make the snare cut through a little bit more. And I start to tweak it a little bit and then a little bit more and a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and then things just get out of hand, and then I'm like, oh man, the limiter was on this whole time, and then I take it off, so. I would recommend that you try to just never do that. Okay. It's like, it's, <laughs> it feels good to, to do it. It's like a guilty pleasure unless thing almost, you're, but Unless it's like, you're actually mastering your own stuff. Yeah. So, don't, don't do that. Uh, so, whenever, my thought process on this was, and I don't always put a compressor at the end, but a lot of times I do, just, just lightly. And my thought process with this was, when we send it off to mastering, if this guy doesn't add this exact type of compression to the master, I will not like it. Because to me, this is what finishes it and, and, and tightens it all together. Makes the, the mix breathe in the way that I want. So here's the SSL bus compressor. Uh, I'll bypass it first and then turn it on. All right, now I'll turn it on. You should hear a little bit of pumping, but to me it's, it's a good pumping. And to me, that just really emphasizes all those little things that we try to add to make things punch. It just kind of embellishes those. So we're only getting about two or three dB of compression. If you go over that, I'm telling you, you don't realize it, but you are like ruining stuff. And you can't undo that in mastering. So that tiny little bit on these specific settings, I don't know if you can see it, but the attack is at three releases at 0.3, ratios at 4, and I go back and forth on these settings a lot, but this is what I liked for this tempo and this style of music. Um, it was releasing right when I wanted it to release. So I don't know if you guys can hear the difference there, but maybe I'll just play it again. Here we go. I'll do it, I'll do it quicker back and forth, so nothing. Here we go. To me, it just adds so much life. It's just tighter, too. Yeah, it just it squashes everything together in a good way. And it's easy to overdo it. It's mm -hmm. really easy to overdo it. 
I know mixing isn't about numbers, but in this case, it's good to have those guide those numbers as guidelines to not over compress. I mean, four at the most. Like I wouldn't go go over that when I'm compressing. Like, and this is a compressor that that compresses all the frequencies across the board. It doesn't have one of those uh, roll side chain roll off thingies or a mix knob or anything like that. So. Um, it's really easy to overdo it on this. And the more you do it, the more you're like, the, the less punchy it becomes. Sort of.